गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स लर्न टूडे लाइक एंड अनलाइक टर्म्स ओके वेन टर्म हैव द सेम अल्जेब्रिक फैक्टर्स दे आर लाइक टर्म सी वॉट वट इज मीन बाय लाइक टर्म वेन टर्म्स हैव सेम अल्जेब्रिक फैक्टर्स they are they are like term okay like terms and now what is mean by unlike term when terms have different algebraic factors they are unlike term see when terms have different see different algebraic factors they are unlike term okay see now when terms have same algebraic factors they are like terms and when terms have different algebraic factors they are unlike terms now see here i will take one example 2xy minus 3x plus 5xy minus 4. This is one example. Now what it is? This is expression. Okay. In this expression, see the term 2xy. See the term 2xy and 5xy. See these both the terms 2xy and 5xy. Okay. The factor of 2xy. See. the factor of 2xy the factors of 2xy are 2x and y yesterday we have learned how to write the factors so what are the factors for 2xy 2x and y and factors of the factors of 5xy are 5x and y okay see the factors of 5xy are 5x and y okay so thus their algebraic factors are the same see if you will see these algebraic factors are same okay algebraic factors are same hence they are like term so these are like term if you will observe in this these algebraic algebraic factors are same so they are like term okay now if you will see here 2xy and minus 3x see here now see here 2xy and minus 3x now what we will take now term 2xy Term two x y and minus three x have different algebraic factors. Now, what are the factors for two x y, two x and y? And what are the factors for minus three x, minus three and x? So these are the different algebraic factors. See, in these terms, it has different factors. Okay, so term two x y has two x and y. These are the factors, and term minus three x have minus three and x. So it has different algebraic factors. Okay, so they are unlike term. Okay, so they are they are unlike term. Okay, see here in this which term in term. 2xy and 5xy in this both the term if you will observe here see 2xy the factors of 2xy are 2 comma x and y okay the factors of 5xy are 5x and y so if you will observe in this term it has same algebraic factors okay they have same algebraic factors so these are the like terms 
okay see if you will observe in this they have same factors okay and now in this term if you will observe 3 2xy and minus 3x see these both the terms if you will take if you will observe it has different algebraic factors so they are unlike term let's learn now monomials binomials trinomials and polynomials what is mean by monomials that we will see now first okay so monomials monomials means what it is see an expression with only one term is called monomial okay an expression with only one term is called monomial. Okay, it's called monomials. Okay. So now if you will see example of monomial see now example now 5xy minus 7m 3z square 4 etc now these are the examples of monomial okay these are the example examples are monomial why because it has only one term if you will see in this expression it has only one term okay so these are the examples of monomials okay now let's see what is mean by binomial binomials okay now an expression which contains two unlike term it's called a binomial. See now, an expression which contains two unlike terms. Terms. It's called. binomials okay an expression which contains two unlike terms it's called binomials okay now which are the examples see now example of binomial x plus y z minus 5 mn plus 4m a square minus b square these are the examples of binomial why because see an expression which contains two unlike terms is called binomials now see in this expression it contains two unlike term these are not a like terms so this expression is called binomials if you will observe in this example also z minus 5 it has also two unlike term see in this example also mn plus 4m binomial okay because it has two unlike term a square minus b square in this also there are two unlike terms so this is also called the binomials now if you will see if i will take the example see here uh, if i will take the example a plus b plus 5 now if you will observe is it binomial no this is not a binomial because it contains three terms so what is mean by binomial binomial means an expression which contain two unlike terms okay that is called binomials okay see trinomials now what is trinomials an expression which contains three terms is called a trinomial and expression which contains three unlike 
टर्म्स ओके इज कॉल्ड ट्राइनोमियल ओके एन एक्सप्रेशन विच कंटेन्स थ्री अनलाइक टर्म्स इज कॉल्ड ट्राइनोमियल्स ओके नाउ एग्जाम्पल सी यूल सी द एग्जाम्पल नाउ एक्स प्लस वाय प्लस सेवेन नाउ इफ यू वील सी इन दिस एग्जाम्पल इट हैज थ्री टर्म्स ओके सो दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्राइनोमियल देन ए बी प्लस ए प्लस बी ओके दिस इज ऑल्सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्राइनोमियल देन एम प्लस एन प्लस टेन ओके सी इट हेज थ्री टर्म्स सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द ट्राइनोमियल ना सी सपोज इफ आई वील टेक द एक्सप्रेशन ए बी प्लस ए प्लस बी प्लस फाइव ओके इज नॉट अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्राइनोमियल सी इज दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ट्राइनोमियल नो सी इट कंटेन्स फोर टर्म्स इट कंटेन्स फोर टर्म्स सी ए बी ए बी फाइव इट कंटेन्स फोर टर्म्स ओके सो दिस इज नॉट अ ट्राइनोमियल सो द एक्सप्रेशन सो एक्सप्रेशन विथ वन और मोर टर्म्स इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनोमियल ओके सो द एक्सप्रेशन विथ वन और मोर टर्म इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनोमियल ओके दस मोनोमियल बायोनोमियल एंड ट्राइनोमियल आर ऑल पॉलिनोमियल्स बट नाउ सी इफ यू विल सी दिस टर्म दिस टर्म इज नॉट कॉल्ड द ट्राइनोमियल ओके सो फॉर दिस टर्म वॉट वी विल से विल से द पॉलिनोमियल बिकॉज इट हैज मोर दैन थ्री कट ओके इट हैज मोर दैन थ्री टर्म्स so we'll say for this polynomial we can say for one or more term also polynomial see what is mean by polynomial see here i'm writing polynomial what is mean by polynomial an expression with one or more term one or more term is called a polynomial okay an expression with one or more term one or more term okay an expression with one or more terms is called polynomial so now in polynomial what it can come monomial binomial and trinomial are all polynomials okay so monomial binomial and trinomial are all poly polynomials because what is the definition it is given an expression with one or more terms is called polynomial now for this example also we can say the polynomial one or more term contains means this is the example of polynomial but we can say for these all the examples polynomial okay let's solve exercise 12.1 get the algebraic expressions in the following cases using variables constants and arithmetic operations okay now these examples we have to solve i will show in the textbook only okay now subtraction of z from y so what we have to show here subtraction of z from y which word it came from y so first what will what it will come y okay and what we have to show subtraction of z from y so from y we are going to subtract z so what is the answer y minus z okay what is the operation y minus z now what half of the sub number sum of numbers x and y one half of the sum one half see one half means 1 upon 2 of means multiplication 
okay of means multiplication the sum of number x and y now what it is given sum of numbers x and y sum means what we have to show here addition of x and y so x plus y this we have to write in the bracket because what it is given one half of the sum of numbers x and y okay now next one the number z multiplied by itself now what it is given third one the number z multiplied by itself now number z multiplied by itself itself means z only so z into z what we will get is equal to z square okay now next one example one fourth of the product of number p and q one fourth see one fourth of of means multiplication the product of numbers p and q so what we have to show here product of p and q p and q means p q okay product of p and q so you can show here like this way also p multiplied by q so this example can be written like this way also one fourth p q okay so what we can write here one fourth p q okay let's see now example five numbers x and y both squared and added both squared squared means we have to write the square of this both the numbers see now x square numbers x and y x and y both squared and added and added so show the addition like this way x square plus y square okay now next one example number 5 added see what it is given number 5 added 5 is added so 5 plus because 5 is added 2 3 times 2 3 times 3 times okay 3 times the product of numbers m and n 3 times means 3 multiple by m and n means 3 into m into n means 3 m n so number 5 added so plus 2 3 times the product of m n okay product of numbers m and n now next one seventh one product of numbers y and z see what it is given product of numbers y and z subtracted from 10 see from 10 k means first what we will do 10 we will write first okay product of numbers y and z subtracted from 10 so from 10 we are going to subtract product of numbers y and z product of numbers y and z product of numbers product means y multiple by z okay so 10 minus y z product of numbers y and z so this is product of number y multiple by z y z we are getting subtracted from 10 so first we have to write 10 and then subtract y z okay now let's see next one example sum of numbers a and b subtracted from their product from their product so first we need to show this product of this number so a into b means only a b c sum of the numbers a and b subtracted from their product so what is the product of a and b a b okay and it is subtracted what it is subtracted sum of this number sum so a plus b c sum of numbers a and b sum of numbers a and b subtracted from their product so a what is the product of a and b a b so it a from their product so from this product a and b it is a plus b it is subtracted okay